And what is the value of k? Given that you have k to the power of 6 equals 2 to the power of 6. Recall, now let's have it to be solution from here. Now when we have a to the power of m to be equals b to the power of m, this implies that a equals b. So from here as well, we have k to the power of 6 to be equals 2 to the power of 6. This implies that k equals 2. So k equals 2 is not the only solution for this problem. Then let's see how to solve it. Let us recall that we have k to the power of 6, then minus 2 to the power of 6 equals 0. Then from here, let's write this is as k to the power of 2 times 3 minus 2 to the power of 2 times 3. 2 times 3 will give us 6. Then we should set everything to be equal 0. Let us recall that when we have a to the power of m times n, equals a to the power of m in parentheses to the power of n equals a to the power of n in parentheses to the power of n. So from here, we can have this to be k to the power of 3 in parentheses to the power of 2 as this, minus 2 to the power of 3 in parentheses to the power of 2 as this, then we set everything to be equal to 0. Now recall, this is the difference of 2 square because of this 2 and 2. When we have a square minus b square equals as a plus b in parentheses multiplied by a minus b in parentheses. So this will be k to the power of 3 plus 2 to the power of 3 in parentheses multiplied by k to the power of 3 minus 2 to the power of 3 then equals 0. So from here, now for this expression to be equal 0, see that we have k to the power of 3 plus 2 to the power of 3 equals 0 or we have k to the power of 3 minus 2 to the power of 3 to be equal 0 and so from here let us recall let's call this case 1 recall that when we have when we have a to the power of 3 plus b to the power of 3 equals as a plus b in parentheses multiplied by a square minus a b plus b square. So when we apply it to this one, we are going to have our a to be equivalent to k and our b to be equivalent to 2. So from here we are going to have k plus 2 in parentheses multiply by k square minus 2k plus 2 square and mind you that everything equals 0 so from here we have k plus 2 in parentheses multiply by k square minus 2k plus 4 then equals 0 so from here we have k plus 2 to be equals 0 or we have k square minus 2k plus 4 to be equals 0 then from here we have k to be equals minus 2 this will be the second solution where from here we can use quadratic formula where we are going to have k to be equals minus b positive or negative root of b square minus 4ac then all divided by 2a where parameter a is the coefficient of k square 1 parameter b is the coefficient of k minus 2 and c equals 4 so when we substitute everything we are going to have here to be k equals minus into minus 2 outside positive or negative root of minus 2 in parentheses to the power of 2 4 multiplied by a multiplied by c is 4 all divided by 2 times 1 so from here we have k to be equals minus times minus will be plus 2 positive or negative root of this minus 2 in parentheses to the power of 2 will give us 4 4 minus 4 times 1 is minus 4 times this we have here to be minus 16 all divided by 2 
we have k to be equals to positive or negative root of minus 12 divided by 2. And this, we have k to positive or negative root of 12 multiplied by root of minus 1 divided by 2. So when we have root 12 equals root of 4 times 3. And this will be equals root 4 is 2 multiplied by root 3. So from here we have k 2 positive or negative 2 root 3. Root of minus 1 equals i in a complex space. So here will be i divided by 2. <coughs> so from here 2 divided by 2 positive or negative 2 root 3i divided by 2. So we have k to be equals 1 positive or negative root 3i and also k equals minus 2. So this is the value of k. Then let's also solve for case 2. So this when we have a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3 equals as a minus b in parentheses multiplied by a square plus ab plus b square. So we have here to be k minus 2. Then here will be k square plus 2k plus 2 to the power of 2 equals 0. Our a is k, our b is 2. So here will be k minus 2 in parentheses multiplied by k square minus 2k plus 4 equals 0. For this expression to be equal 0, it's either we have k minus 2 to be equal 0 or we have k square plus 2k plus 4 to be equal 0. So from here we have k to be equal 2. So from here k equals 2, we can now have k for this to be minus b positive or negative root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a where we have parameter a to be equals 1, parameter b to be equals 2, and c equals 4. So when we substitute everything, we are going to have k minus 2 positive or negative root of 2 square minus 4 multiplied by a is 1, c is 4, then divided by 2 times 1. So we have k to be minus 2, positive or negative root of 2 square is 4, minus 4 times 1 is 4 times this, we get 16 divided by 2. So we have k minus 2, positive or negative root of minus 12 divided by 2. So we have this to be k equals minus 2, positive or negative root of 12 multiplied by root of minus 1. And so we have k to be equals minus 2, positive or negative root of 4 times 3 multiplied by root of minus 1 equals i. Then this divided by 2, divided by 2. So we have k, this will be minus 2, positive or negative, root of 4 is 2 root 3, i, divided by 2. So this will also be minus 1, positive or negative, root 3i. So if you are new here and find this video interesting, don't forget to share, like, comments, and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more math tutorial videos. Bye-bye.